साधु कार्य को नमोत नमस्कार ृथ्यंगी ृथ्यंगी मुसावाधाणिशिखापदी फ्लावर्स and the medicinal drinks making those offerings to the supremely enlightened lord buddha we wish all our prayers our blessings our merits to be with the beloved father mr g g gnanatilaka rajapaksha beloved father to wish him the supreme bliss the lasting happiness nibbana with that aspiration we offer these flowers light incense medicinal rings to the lord buddha and the maha sangha after that uh, we dedicate a uh, mathaka vastra Matakavastra is a 
piece of white cloth that we offer in the good name of the loved one, wishing that loved one all the peace and happiness in his journey. In his journey, we offer a piece of white cloth. Uh, normally, in the history, when someone passed away, the body was uh, dressed with the white cloth. And the coffin or a casket that takes the body, or without it, it was even itself, the white cloth was itself a cover or a cabin to use the body. Uh, so when that is being put into the cemeteries, monks used to take that clothes and make a robe from it. Not like these days, those days, the clothes were very, very rare. It's very difficult to make and very difficult to find. Therefore, they make use of every piece of clothes and they recycle it. Even the robes, once it is worn out, they use it as a curtain. Even after that, they use it as a um, mat or a, a brush to brush the floor. So that uh, how they recycle things and use things. Even uh, uh, the body, we have still in the Himalayas, Buddhist monks does uh, uh, something called nature burial that is being eventually uh, let the food uh, source for others. In other, other traditions, they normally call earth to earth. That means eventually we perish ourselves into this uh, nature. We come from the nature, we go back to the nature. Uh, that is uh, the nature of our life and this uh, special ceremony uh, has uh, three things. One is one aspect of it uh, to show our gratitude by coming together in the unity. At a time like this, all of you, even the monks, uh, are very humble to come together uh, to do something for that. And the second thing is to make some merits. When someone is no longer here, you can't really give something uh, material. If the person is living, you can send some flowers or medicine or food or clothes or whatever. When this journey starts to leave us, the merits is the only benefit. Therefore, this merits is very important. Very Normally, a baby was born all the time with the uh, close hands. That means when someone comes into this world, they do not bring anything. Only thing they bring, good and bad, what they have done in the previous lives. When they leave this world, they take the same thing. They don't take anything away. Therefore, this merits is a very important thing. There was an uh, emperor called Alexander the Great. He was very young at the age of 30. Conquer a large part of the world, became a great emperor. However, he eventually had an illness at very young age after being achieved all these things. And he said, I am very powerful. I have all the wealth. Call the best doctors, the best doctors in the world. The doctors came and examined and said, Sir, we are very sorry. Uh, we can't do anything for you. We just need to prepare you for the last few days. This is the reality. So the great Alexander was very upset and called the ministers to come and said, uh, can you write my will? And he was planning the will, the last funeral rites, how it should be. He said that in my funeral procession, there should be a doctor right in front of the funeral procession. 
in the coffin, my hand should be clearly visible and out so that everybody can see my hands. Whatever I have earned in my life, distribute it to the people who are standing outside at either side of the road. The advisors were very upset and asked, are you angry with the doctors? Why you want a doctor to write in front? He said, no, I'm not angry. I just wanted to make the world know that the highest technology, even the medicine is being developed, but nobody can stop illness and death. That is the nature. Even the Buddha himself couldn't go beyond that. And uh, then they ask why you want to keep your hands outside visible, open. He said that as a person, I what I did it all throughout my life to accumulate and to gain more. I was try to always achieve, but I wanted to say to the world, the person who has been even accomplishing that mission is going in empty hand doesn't take anything away. Then they ask why you need to give things to the people either side that he said, that is the only thing in benefit for me. What I have done, good things will I will take away. So therefore, in this occasion, Pan Sukula, here we do first to come together as a people because that's what makes us feel good. You know, we are individually functioning, we are in our own world, but we don't really have that affection. We normally say when we were born, everybody is here. When we die, everybody is there. In between, you have to manage. That's the nature of life. You know, but that coming together, being there for each other is a wonderful thing. Because it lifts your heart and difficult situations. It's a very important thing. So at this time, to have all these good people, temple here is a very grateful thing. Rather, we take things for granted. So we are very grateful to even our uh, temple secretary Padma for at our absent organizing all of these things and helping to make this uh, special uh, transfer of merits as well. So therefore, uh, it's a very special thing to come together and help at situations like this. So the second thing is to generate merits. Third one is to make it a therapy, you know, rather than the person who are leaving, this helps us as well. Of course, the merits helps both us as the person who goes, but by coming together, engaging something, even if Shaman Nona goes to Sri Lanka, nothing would have different. Things will be the same. But you feel better when you do something, when you engage. You don't have to think about it and hibernate on it, stagnated on it, which makes you feel kind of depressed. Whereas when you dress yourself, finding all these flowers, arranging things, getting these nice kids, uh, bringing them to the temple, inviting all you. So you put your mind engaged on something and it helps us. You know, even in the psychology, the first thing when something happens, even though it is natural, we deny it. Oh, we can't. I can't believe it. It doesn't, you know, he is not like that. The first thing is denying. Then eventually what we do is acceptance and move on in our life. That's the uh, main thing of the Pansukula, funeral service. Bringing our spirituality and keeping those blessings with the one, the loved ones, uh, for wishing that one uh, good luck and good health. It's a peaceful journey. So today we are remembering a beautiful father, Mr. G. G. Nyanathilaka Rajapaksha, who lived uh, over 80 years. 80 years is the full life. Even our Lord Buddha lived 80 years. 
that's uh, what we call the full life. Um, he lived in uh, Avisavel, born in uh, Atulu Gana, Atulu Gama, and uh, Atulu Gama, ne? yeah. So working and serving to the community of Sri Lanka in the public relations uh, officer, secretary in various ministers in ministries in Sri Lanka and uh, housing and fisheries, uh, worked as a teacher. Yeah. yeah university. university, yeah. So also brought up uh, uh, children, uh, daughter, Shamin, and the Shamin also has two children. So he was blessed with two granddaughters and also a very uh, grateful husband, our Kanchana Mahatma, Kanchana Vikramaratna. Uh, when we reflect on uh, Mr. G. G. Jnana Tilaka Rajapaksha, beloved father, uh, he was very passionate about helping others. Uh, that may be the reason he is in the public service and uh, government service, serving to the community, especially fisheries and housing areas. Most of the needy people are in there, so he might have certainly a good heart. Um, especially he has given the confidence, personality, uh, to the daughter Shaman as a father. You know, fathers are very helpful, very uh, special people. They give you the confidence, uh, gives you the personality. Today you are standing, facing a lot of challenges, not letting yourself down and uh, being stable on your feet in the midst of all the difficulties and challenges, the spirit, that example that given by the beloved fathers. Someone said, if you have really seen how your father work hard, you don't need motivational teachers. You will be inspired to uh, develop yourself if you know how your fathers are really thinking about you, working hard day in, day out, even in illness and difficulties, thinking to create a world to their children. So those, that is what the definition of father. The meaning of father is giving you the place to put you in the middle of all the special Raja Majjang Supatitang, we say in Singhala, Pitu Padang Nama, Pitu Ma, the father's aspiration is to create and professionally and personally, mentally and psychologically prepare yourself to establish strong in the midst of all the skillful people. That's the definition, meaning of the father. There was a boy who was uh, uh, who went to an interview, very good job, highly paid. When he was entering to the interview, the gate was open. He closed it as he entered in. Then he saw tap is being opened, the water is wasting. He closed the tap as well. When he entered to the porch, he saw the light being left there without not needing. So he switched them off as he goes through uh, up to the second floor to go to the interview room. When he entered the room, there was like this, 30, 40 people sitting, waiting for their chance. He got the chance about 35, number 35 to go to the interview. There were about five, six people in the panel of the interview. Straight away, the panel of the interview said, when would you like to start the job? He said, sir, you haven't seen my qualification either. You're asking me when I can start. They said, no, I don't have, we don't have to see your qualification. We already have noted them. We just are looking for the people's attitudes and behaviors. We saw when you were entering through the gate, you closed the gate. 
We saw that you closed the tap. We saw you switch off the lights. We left them purposely to see how many of you are really being thoughtful about those things. Therefore, you are passed for the interview. We don't have to interview you anymore. You know, you don't have to be told. If you've been thinking and what needs to be done and doing, that is the people they like to be employed. <clears throat> and when the interview board said to that boy like that, he started crying, young boy. And the interview board asked, why you are crying? He said, when I was very young, my father was always nagging me. It was a bit annoying saying, where yeah, you should put the, your shoes nicely. I, I used to put my clothes everywhere. My bedroom was a mess. My father is the one who made me organized. My father uh, used to say that don't leave the lights in vain. Put the tap if you are only washing it. When you are not washing it, keep it closed. Actually, by that day, I thought my father is like a little bit uh, annoying, burden, enemy even. But today, he is a god to me. So today, you have been very successful in your lives. But for your success, the Father has given a lot of inspiration. For you, you will not realize it today. It is a psychological thing. First five years of the life, the heroes are parents. From five to nine, the parents are no longer heroes. Because after that, you see the teachers are smart. They dress well. They talk nice. They are knowledgeable. Then your heroes become your teachers. When you turn to age 10 to uh, 13, 14, 16, neither your parents nor your teachers are heroes. Your mates, you know, you believe them. Your mates are heroes. When you go from 19 to 30, neither parents nor teachers nor mates your celebrities, you cut your hair like that, you dress your things like that, and uh, you like to Im in uh, imitate like them, and you watch their YouTube, isn't it? How they are following. So they are heroes, models become that. But when someone passed the age 30, I don't believe Shaman known as still 30. <laughs> <laughs> <I wish. laughs> And you realize the reality and you come to the square one. You know your re real heroes are parents. By that time, you may be a little late sometimes if you've been little, you know, the tongue doesn't have any bones, but it can break the hearts. Something that you should not do to your parents, you should not let them down at any situation. You should unconditionally listen to them unconditionally follow their advice. They may not have all the credentials like scholars or degrees and things like you have, but they have the knowledge in the universe. And their heart is incomparable. They, whatever they say out of great compassion, make it happen. Therefore, we should not let our parents down for any reason. Sometimes, some even when they turn into 13, they say, I'm 13, you don't have to tell me. You know, that's how sometimes some children behave. There was a mother yesterday asking me to talk to the child who was 19, doing a neuroscience degree, not being humble, listening, very stubborn. I ask how often you come to the temple. Oh, we are very busy taking the children to studies and things. We didn't have time. I said, how could I talk to someone who has not seen for 19 years? So some people expect us to make magics to change things overnight. But our parents, for your birthdays, for your marriage, for your special days, for every situation, still we remember how they show us how to light a candle how to light the incense, how to offer uh, flowers, how to sit under a Bodhi tree, that make us feel the world to us. That blessing is what makes us really grow in our heart. Therefore,
today you all have come to celebrate the life of Mr. Gigi Nyanathilaka Rajapaksha to do the Pansukula ceremony and transfer the merits. It's a great thing that your friends has organized and come together uh, to uh, do that. Even though it is little too late in Sri Lanka, they, um, they would be very happy. Your mother would be very happy that even though you are living 5,000 miles away and you are still doing your uh, culture, your faith, your needful things, even though you can't physically be there. You know, what is important is to do what is right thing. Even you physically go there, you do the same thing. And even the father who see that, we believe it. They are looking at, they are watching us. And he would be very happy to see that you have not really forgotten. You have made the best of your ability to do this special ceremony to transfer the merits into their good name. There was a, um, you know, no discrimination. We have differences in all our lives. There was a couple who are born blind. They tried a baby. They did everything. They went into devalas, places of worship, all the, all the places they couldn't get a baby. You know that Shami and Nona, when you become the baby of their family, they had everything. Their world was full. Likewise, when you have children, your life becomes mean a world to yourself. So therefore, when this couple of uh, blind, they wanted to have a baby, they worked for it for years and years and years and years, they couldn't get a baby. Eventually, they found that genetic engineering gene enhancement theory of the science. And through that, quite, you know, yeah, before all these uh, IVF and things were being started, and they said, by checking them, we can have a baby for you. So they did that genetic enhancement gene in, in enhanced theory. And, you know, that even if you are really interested, there are some chemicals that can make you a perfect footballer. You know, that's illegal, but it can happen. <laughs> so therefore, this is, of course, a science is perfect. We can make your baby. So the scientist make them a baby. The baby was born. Few days later, they realized baby was also blind. People, journalists, everybody complained the science taking the embryos from a perfect person, create a baby with blindness. Everybody complained. But the mother and father who were blind said, grateful, thankful to the science and the doctors, creating a baby, they are alike. So that is our parents. When they receive you, no matter how you are, they think, you are like them and they make you a king or a queen. So that's very important. So therefore, today, you are all coming together to uh, be grateful for that father. It's a legacy in a way, 80 years. What else he could have done? You know, he has done. When you compare your life, you haven't done that much. You know, so therefore, when we think of all these things, uh, helping schools, educational sponsorships, assisting distribution of donations during natural disasters like landslides, floods, uh, generally very charitable, helped relatives and people in the community in his whole life. So therefore, he is a very good father of Shaman Nona, in law of our Kanchana Mahatma, uh, beloved, the beautiful grandfather of Liana and also Aurelia. Eh? Mm -hmm. So they are very grateful. Uh, you can see the picture here. Beautiful father, uh, grandfather, that you are lighting that candles, flowers and things. You can see the candle you lit has already now gone down. Life is like that. It's very short. While that short life, 80 years is nothing. You've got to do something in your life. First, you need to educate yourself and make yourself economically prosperous by being successful without which you can't do anything. 
and then help the service the world and have a very happy life. Happiness is the most important. I believe Mr. G. G. Nyanathilaka Rajapaksha, beloved father, was such happy and come accomplished and uh, kind-hearted, uh, has seen the children, grandchildren, and uh, he's a uh, um, very contented life come to an end. Therefore, at this occasion, we do a few minutes of homage and uh, offer the Mataka Vastra. After that, our Hamdru from Gal, Vaddegama Ratana Sara Vidyayatane principal, Sastrapati Pandita Dhammala Pianandha Hamdru will transfer the merits. Now, let us bring our palms joined together and pay our homage to the Buddha by offering these of uh, all the objects of veneration. Namo tasa bhagavato arayato samma sambuddhasa Namo tasa bhagavato arayato samma sambuddhasa Namo tasa bhagavato arayato samma sambuddhasa Iti piso bhagava arayam samma sambuddho vidya charana samma Pano Sugato Loka Vidu Anotaro Purisa Dhamma Sarati Satta Deva Manusanam Buddha Bhagavati Swakato Bhagavata Dhammo Sandittiko Akaliko Ehipatsiko Opanaiko Pachat Tang vedi tabo vinyo giti supati panno bhagavato savak sango ujupati panno bhagavato avak sango nyaya pati panno bhagavato savak sango samichi pati panno bhagavato savak sango yadi Jattari Purisa Yugani Arta Purisa Pugala Esa Bhagavato Savaka Sango Ahuneyo Pahuneyo Dakkineyo Anjali Karaniyo Anuttarang Punyaketang Lokasati Vandami Jetiyam Sabhang Sabhetani Supatititan sari rikadatu mahabodin buddha rupang sakalam sadha yasa mule ni sing over sambari vijayang akapato sabang yutang sata vande tang bodhi pade pang ime ete mahabodhi lokana te na bujita. Aham Pite Namasami Bodhi Raja Namasute Ganasarapadite Nadipe Natamadam Sinati Loka Deepam Sam Buddham Pujayami Tamonudam Ganda Sambhara Yutte Nadupe Aham Sugandina Pujayi Pujani Antam Puja bhajana uttamang vanna gandha kuno petang etang kusuma santating Puja yami muningas siripade saroruhe sugandang sitalang kappang pasanna madurang subang paniye metang bhagava patigan hatu uttama adhiva Asetu no bante gilane pachyang 
දවස් කීපයකට පෙර මිය ගිය තමන් යාදරණීය පියාණන් වහන්සේ ඥානතිලක රාජපක්ෂ මහත්මයා අනුමෝදන් වේවා කියන ප්‍රාර්ථනාවෙන් මෙය සාංඝිකව පූජා කරන පොදු වේ මහා සංගරත්නයට ඒකයි අපේ චාරිත්‍රය ඒ සඳහා වරක් නමස්කාරය කියමු නමෝ තස්ස ඉමං මතක වත්තං ुण्यथाय अवशेष ज्ञाति බොහොම ඥානවන්ත ක්‍රියාවක් සිද්ධ කරන්න. ඥාන තිලක මහත්තයාගේ දුවනේ. තිලක තිලකය කියලා කියන්නේ මෙතන තියෙන එකක්නේ තිලකය. ඥානේ තිලකය කියලා කියන්නේ ඥානයෙන් උපන් කියන අදහස මූණ. ඉතින් හාමුදුරන් වහන්සේ හා සම්බන්ධ වෙලා විහාරස්ථානයේ ඇට ඇවිල්ලා මතක වස්ත්‍ර පූජාව පාන්සු පූලික අවස්ථාව සිද්ධ කරලා जीवित विद्यात्मक सामज जीवित राज्यांशे सामग खाटी तो सिद्ध कर ला बहुम आवश्यकता साहित्य प्रजावट ये आवश्यकता न कूल ब खाटी तो सिद्ध करनो लंकावे का पैतक का नायन का ताम पैती गांग गिवाल पिटिंग नायनो वातुरा वहाँ में वातुरिंग और उधर के देपारा हम गंगा वा काश्तों में गला लगने आनो दिंग ये खाटी तो बोला दी महाजन संबंध � विश्वास कर धर्मता සමාජගත කරලා තියෙනවා. ඒක ලොකු දෙයක්. අර උපන්නාට මේ ලොව වැනෙනවා විනා කියලා ඉන්නවට වඩා තමන් කැමක් කරලා සමාජයට ඒ කටයුතු සිද්ධ කරන්න පුළුවන් නම් ඒක මම හිතන්නේ වාසනාවක්. ඒ පියා 
මං හිතන්නේ බොම්බ වාසනාවන්ත ජීවිතයක් ගත කරලා තිනු නිසා ඔයාලට සතුරු වෙන්න පුළුවන් ඔයාලනේ සතාත්ත සතුරු වුණා මේ දරුවෝ දෙන්න දැකලා ඒ තාත්ත මේ මහත්තය දැකලා බොහොම අප්‍රමාණව ඉතින් හඳුරු සලලා බොහොම සන්තෝෂ වෙන්න අභිමානයක් ඇති කරගෙන ජීවත් වුණා ඉතින් අද දවසේ මේ තමන් ආශ්‍රය නිශ්‍රය කරන ඇසුරු නිශ්‍රු කරන සියලු දෙනා මේ ක්‍රාශි කරගත්තා විහාරස්ථානයට පැමිණා මල් පහන් සුවඳුම් ආදී පූජා කරා ගිලම්පස ඒ වගේම මතක වස්ත්‍ර පූජාවන් සිද්ධ කරනවා මේ පුරාණ චාරිත්‍ර විදීන් ඉතින් බුදුරජාණන් වහන්සේගේ දේශනාවේ හැටියට මේක තමයි අනිත්‍ය ස්වභාවය මේක තමයි දැනෙන වෙලාව අපිට මෙච්චර කාලයක් අනුන්ගේ තාත්තලා මිනිස්සු කොහේ ඉස්රායලේ ගහලා මැරෙනවා කිව්වත් අපිට ඉතින් දුකක් නැහැ अरे हे युक्रेन गहन मेंिनी स्वभाव मरण दमोहि मरण अनती मरण स्वभाव को संग्रहाय मरण धवांटोन धर्मता विहाराधिपति प्रार्थना आदरणीय
ඥානතිලක රාජපක්ෂ මහත්මයා මේ පින් අනුමෝදන් වේව අනුමෝදන්ව ඒ අයගේ ආයතී භවයේ සැපවත් කර ගනිත්ව සූපත් කර ගනිත්ව අවසන උතුම් වූ නිර්වාණ ශාන්තිය පිණිස මේ පින හේතු වාසනා වේව සාදු සාදු කියලා ප්‍රාර්ථනා කරලා ඉඳන් මේ ඥාති නම් හෝතු කියන ගාථාව කියලා පැන් වරලා පින් අනුමෝදන් කරමු පොඩි දෙන්න පොඩි දෙන්න කිට්ටු කරගන්න අයින එක අයින් දෙමු පොඩ්ඩක් वे देखा ंदो आशीर्वाद you also hope to bring the dana on 4th of january and uh, it's a wonderful very good thing that you all have come together uh, to do this uh, very special meritorious activity pansukula ceremony uh, spiritual religious activity we do at the uh, end of a life is a very meaningful very helpful thing especially everyone has come to participate for that Uh, that is very helpful for the person who is going through such a hard uh, time and also um, when others are there to uh, engage these activities uh, that also help every one of us and above all we bring our hearts and minds together and uh, wish and pray mr g g nyanathilak राजपक्ष ुपरे दूरे वसंती दूरे भूता वा संभवे सत्ता 
सुखी सत्ता नो परिगुभेद नाति मेत कंची व्यारोस न पटिग संस दुख मिच्य मातायता निंकुतंगयुषा एक मनुराखे एवं पिशाभूते सुमान संभावे अपरिमाच शब्दोकस्मान संभावे अपरिमा संपन्नो now let us do few minutes of meditation is a normal thing we do to reflect on the impermanence anicca pratisangyukta mangsa chanting a special verses of impermanent so let us sit in meditation for few seconds to reflect on that nature of life अनिच्छावत संखारोपादिवाजिवाजिवाजिवाजिवाजिवाजिवाजिवाजिवाजिवाजिवाजिवाजिवाजिवाजिवाजिवाजिवाजिवाजिवाजिवाजिवाजिवाजिवाजिव
Good girl. You said, man. May I put in a tap water from a calling me? University look then the university yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, very good. Yeah, I can eat it. Oh, they are made up of GCSE. She, she, he, they How do you do the GCSE? Uh, yeah, I'm too much. Did you understand we were talking? No, very good. <laughs> what about the English one? You didn't understand the English. Oh, I'm just saying that. Yeah, <laughs> 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 